to have people just ask questions like, you know, what, how do you start? You know, some people say you warm up with a putter, so okay, I mean, you want to warm up with a putter, we just hit some putters, you know what I mean? <laughs> My man, all right. Nice. Uh, you can climb that. That's not, that's not a couple. That's not easy. It gets easier every time. It adds loft to the putter every time you hit it. Thank you. What's your spin rate on that? Uh, Six thousand. I'm, I'm testing. You know, um, people ask me about the heavy nice. weighted clubs. I kind of like them. Um, I don't know if you need to full bore, you know, rip them with these things, but I kind of enjoy them, and I. I think it's really good, you know, for loosening up hmm. and just trying to get a feel for, you know, what the swing feels like that day. Well, you played before, huh? I've done it once or twice. <laughs> I've done it once or twice. I don't That's know if nice. you guys... I love the orange whip. Awesome, isn't it? Oh, man. Did you guys nice see one. VJ at the Masters? Yeah. What he was doing? Oh. So VJ setting up with this thing. Is that that towel over there? Shut it. So at the Masters, VJ is setting up with us, and to me that's a, you know, to me this is an unbelievable training aid to kind of feel, kind of feel what the what the golf swing is doing and how we get back. But VJ is standing on the gust of practice round and he's hitting it like that. Oh, <laughs> and you know, I was like, man, how is he doing that? And I tried it. And that's not that hard. <laughs> BJ who? <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, it's really crazy. And I don't think you're supposed to do that. I think you're going to break, but one of these times I'm going to impale myself with this damn thing. There it is. That's an off-center hit. I should have quit while I was ahead. The other one is that I like to use. Careful. <laughs> 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 you know what's up? Gym flick. Never forget this when we were down at TaylorMade Invitational. We had Mark Ford with us that day. And old Flickster, he said, Eric, your positions are great, but your rhythm's mediocre at best. And I was crushed. I was like, what? The, but who is this guy? 100 pound guy, like, you know, like, pet him like a little dog. You know, he's a, he was, but he was the feistiest old guy I've ever seen on tee. He had, but, uh, so Flick handed me this thing and he said, go ahead and hit this. And I, I hit it like right there and he laughed and he said, I'll be back in an hour. And, uh, but the whippy club just shows you how we set it, how we come back and through it. Huh. My golf course is dry, not wet. Okay, can I hit this one? Did you say yep? Yep. Yeah, how yeah, far? Good. How far? Far. 220. 220. <laughs> yeah, we can probably get it that far. That gaunt, Patrick, this is so wet. If you want to hit it further, what would you do? And don't say stand up. Roll it over. Swing your arms faster. Oh. What are the, how do these guys hit home runs? Barrel of the bat. Barrel of the bat, center of the bat. bat, and what else? Is this a home run? No. Oh, bat speed, right? Yeah. Bat speed. We, oh, that's a play for the Pirates. <laughs> don't say anything about the Pirates. <laughs> I like the Pirates. You know, it's fast bat. That's what gets that thing out there, right? So clearly we're using the ground, but I guarantee these guys aren't going, just turn, just turn, <laughs> right. turn. It's not attached to your hip, it's attached to your hand, right? That's why our arms are so invaluable to be able to go like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's why Jose Altuve can hit a home run. Boom! Little guy. Uh, Little guy. Fast bat, they're hitting in the center yeah, of the face. Flying no beautifully. Okay, here we go. Boom. Up here. Oh, yay! Yay! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Not bad, huh? That was damn good. Thank you. <laughs> the attendants hated that guy. He teed off with a three wood and he'd go up and he'd go like that and he'd put the ball on it and then he'd hit it. Oh, and, I mean, yeah. he would never be invited to Augusta. <laughs> he was, uh, but he's a good player. Um, so I always say, listen, it depends. Playing in Scotland a lot, and maybe you just tee it nice and low. Maybe you put it on the deck there. And then you just hit a little low zipper out there. Oh, come on, guys, that one's pretty good. <laughs> All right, if I want to hit a little higher, maybe I just maybe I just put a little bit in the air and you know hit a nice little low runner again. If I want a little higher, maybe I'd approach the top of the face with the golf ball. Okay, gets a little higher there. 
Maybe getting just a little above the face. All right, not bad. Now we're half the ball above the face. Uh-oh, now we're getting higher. <laughs> How about that one, huh? Yeah. Now we got that 400 CCT. I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> now we get it higher. Now we got that big long tee. Ball has a stick on it, sorry. Ball just hit by the mower, not way too Big high tee, get a little more tilt to it. Boom, launch it up in the air. Sometimes those Bach launches, you get an orange. You guys ever seen that? <laughs> I don't like oranges, but they're good tea. Yeah. <laughs> and then water bottle, you always get those in your in your drink. Can everyone move in a little closer? If I'm getting wet, you're getting wet. <laughs> okay. Trust me, I've done this before. Only did, messed it up five times. Wow. How about that one? Now come on. Yeah. <laughs> then you get a little drink too. <laughs> I see those football players do that. <laughs> you know, like, grips are a good one, too. You know, those grips are always nice to hit off of. They're nice and high. Oh, look at that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Show's over. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you, want the you last can do it. You got this. <laughs> you want the last one? You got this. Okay. All right. Now, no one breathe because I don't want the ball falling off. Hold your breath. On your breathing. Don't breathe. Okay. Oh, how about yeah. it? Yeah. Thank you. In any golf shot, any full swing. Center of the club. Bingo. 100%. Okay. You read the script. Okay. So, how do we hit that center of the face is the big question. Okay. Now we talked to them there briefly about, you know, paths and <coughs> verticals and all that stuff, but. For most players, and okay, this is where I, this is where I kind of go digress a little bit. There's 25 million players in the in the game. There's three million National Golf Foundation says there's three million average players, 22 million non-average players. What I think that we're doing a little bit wrong is we're writing everything for the tour player, mm -hmm. and everything everyone wants to be the next Michael Jacobs and the um, you know like golf scientist guys, and that's great. They can do all they want, but I want to go and help the 22 million non average players. If they played three more rounds a year, each one of those people and had more fun, that's 75 million golf rounds. Those are the people I want. I don't want to just look to the tour players. Everyone thinks that you teach a tour player, you're great and all that stuff, and yeah, we've helped them and, and they're easy to teach compared to the person that wants to get the ball in the air. And I believe that 100%. You know, yeah, I'd like to see Ledbetter grind it out over here with some of the stuff that comes through here. and. And, I, and David Ledbetter, it's not a criticism of him either. I love him. He's a great man, great teacher, and he's done unbelievable things for the game of golf. But I think they kind of forget sometimes how hard it is to, for most players to get the ball from in the center of the face and in the air. A lot of people tell me straight is the most important thing. That's okay, straight, all right, straight, straight shot. <laughs> uh, you know, that's the hardest think, shot to hit right there. That's pretty good, easy. by the way. That's that hard. That was a, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, did we pick the wettest spot over here, too? That's a, so, uh, cool. you know, to me, so it's not straight. That's, a, that's number two to me, but I think we got to hit in the center of the face. Okay, so what are the variables that for the average player? For the average player, what are they trying to do? Well, I mean, Think about it like this, there's a tree here and there's an ax here. Would we go like this? No, not unless we're getting paid a lot of money by the hour and no <laughs> one cares how long it takes me to get that tree down, right? So we're creating a lever, an angle, leverage, so we can line it back up. Mm -hmm. So to us, we're gonna look for, Mr. Patrick and I, we're gonna look for, you know, how we hinge it, how we straighten the arms out. Okay, that's really important. And, and then number two, is how we maintain some posture. So centrifugal force of the golf club is sending the weight that way. We see most people go like that. So if centrifugal force is pulling this way, what I want to see people do is counterbalance in a straight line, direct straight line into the hip. We could counterbalance this way, but it's not a real good position to do that. So Jim Flick, huge mentor of mine, uh, talked about the importance of how the feet 
roll and I agree with that. I think the feet kind of are more of a rollers than they are uh, walkers, you know, and I, I don't really believe in the verticals too much unless you're real over the top and then you got some serious talent. You know, and I, I mean, if you, there's not many, okay, let me say it this way. There's not many Lexi Thompsons and uh, Justin Thomases out there. Okay, Antonio Brown, my from the Steelers, my, maybe arguably the best, you know, receiver in the league. But if someone said, I want you to go run down the field like Antonio and I'm gonna throw it and you're gonna go like that. And then some savage is gonna hit you 20 miles an hour. You're gonna catch it, you're gonna get two feet in and then you're gonna fall down and then you're gonna give the you know ball back to the ref and then you're gonna run back. Well, guess what? This body's built for leisure, not speed. It's not gonna work, <laughs> okay? So I, I can't do some of those things. And I think that might be some of the, I'll call it disconnect at what we're doing right now. And we're writing everything that everybody's a tour player and the average person can't break 85. So why don't we start putting some stuff in there that, you know, helps people hit it in the center of the face and then starts, it starts to explain the path and face relationship. So if I got set up there and I created leverage and angle and I ask people all the time, what letter is that? Well, that's an L, right? I want you to go L to a straight line on that side of the ball where the shoulder, the hand, and the club align back again. If you look like that at impact, how many people would play a lot better golf? Yeah. Right? Especially when we see this all day long and we see this all day long. If we could, people could learn how to do that. So I <clears throat> set up on this, and if I created an angle, straight line, angle, straight line, angle, straight line, you can see I hit each one of those in the center of the face. It's okay, guys, you can clap. It won't bug me, really. Seriously, guys, it won't bug me. It won't bug me at all. I missed that one. Come on, come on, louder. I like.